Welcome to Cyber Citadel, our guide on the evolution of ransomware. Ransomware was born in 1989 when Joseph L. Pop created the AIDS Trojan. Pop, dubbed the father of ransomware, installed the virus on 20,000 floppy disks and mailed them to AIDS researchers. A neat payload for the technology of the time, demanding a ransom of 189 US dollars. In 2005 and 2006, Pop's initial form of ransomware had advanced considerably. Archivius targeted Microsoft Windows files and was the first virus to use a pair of asymmetrical encryption keys, making file recovery much harder. A year later, GP Code was the first instance of ransomware spread by spear phishing, disguised as a job application email attachment. As online dependency proliferated, ransomware became bolder. Reviton, a 2012 drive-by virus, imitated a warning from the FBI. It denied access to a computer because of supposed copyright violations or the distribution of pornographic content until a fine was paid. By the time of Lockerpin in 2015, each ransomware demand had risen to 300 US dollars on average. Cybercriminals had also changed their scope, targeting Android mobile devices. Ransomware was also being offered as a competitive service, forming the basis for future ransomware attack families like Petya. By 2016, ransomware as a business had quickly taken hold. Ransom32 used JavaScript to infect not only Microsoft Windows, but Mac, Linux and cloud sharing services. WannaCry dropped like a bombshell in 2017 as the fastest spreading malware in history, infecting 250,000 computers in just four days. WannaCry paved the way for self-replicating worms, nation-state threat actors and settling ransoms with Bitcoin. In 2019, suddenly the average individual payout had increased to over 40,000 US dollars. In a spate of coordinated attacks against American states, Riviera Beach City Council paid a $600,000 ransom, while Travelex was held to a $6 million ransom for the return of customer data. Ransomware continues to evolve and is getting worse. This year, Toll Group suffered two ransomware attacks in four months. The first, Russian-based attack in February, took down Toll's delivery tracking systems, causing a month of costly delays, customer fallout and freight revenue loss. Even with the benefit of hindsight, Toll had not restored its booking and tracking platform two weeks after the second attack. Industry watchdogs described the attack as a tolling bell for executive chairman John Mullen. Unfortunately for managing director Thomas Knudsen, it was the third major cyber attack of his career, having been senior executive with Maersk during the 2017 NotPetya attack. Toll maintained that the two attacks were unrelated. However, ransomware attacks are never coincidental. Cyber Citadel knows that companies who ignore ransomware gamble with the probability of being repeatedly held hostage. The risk is real. Defend with Cyber Citadel.